Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that has been requested a few times and I kept saying that I would do it um, and I'm sorry but I'm doing it today and that is the what's in my diaper bag three-year-old version. So um, this is my diaper bag. It is a Jujube Hobobi. Uh, the Hobobi is one of the smaller bags in the Jujube collection. Um, so I know I've done a few what's in my diaper bag videos in the past, uh, but this is my most current and Ian is three now and I'm not carrying diapers anymore. And so, you know, my stuff's changed a little. And usually when people have three year olds and you know, as their kids get older, um, they either stop using a diaper bag or they at least stop carrying as much stuff. So I used to carry a huge diaper bag. If you go back and watch my old videos, you will see that I used to carry a huge diaper bag and I would stuff it for every possible emergency that you could think of. Um, I've always been an overpacker, even before I was a mommy, I was an overpacker. Um, and so that did not change. As a mommy, I think it made it even worse. So this is the amount of stuff I feel that I need for Ian and I um, on a trip out. So let's get started. Okay, so on the outside of my bag, I like to carry a hand sanitizer and this is just for, you know, quick little messy hands. Um, whenever we go to the zoo, we like to go to the petting zoo part, and they do have hand sanitizer there, but I found that the um, Bath and Body Works Raspberry Lemonade smells like Pez candy and not like antibacterial, and I hate the smell of antibacterial, uh, but this one smells awesome. I also carry a reusable grocery bag. Um, on this outside pocket, on the side where I keep the hand sanitizer, I usually have a pair of sunglasses for me and also a pair of sunglasses for Ian. On the opposite side, I don't have anything in here right now, but usually I would keep a sippy cup for Ian full of water. We only bring water when we go out and about. Um, so in the front, there's two zippers. There's this one really long zipper and then there's a short one. In the short one is my cell phone. And it's actually for cameras or cell phones, and it's a, like a lined pocket. A lot of people like this feature. I actually hate the lining of this pocket. First of all, I always get hangnails, and sticking your hand into this pocket, because of the material that it is, it like rips up every hangnail you have on your fingers. It is painful, So, and I almost always have a hangnail, so I hate sticking my hands in this pocket. Um, and second of all, it, I have a rubbery like Victoria's Secret um, case on my phone and it's almost impossible to shove this in here. It's easy if you don't have that kind, it just slips right in. But if you do have a rubbery case, you really have to like, because the material catches the rubber, so I hate this pocket. Um, I wish it was the silky material that is in the rest of the pocket, so very smooth. Um, anyways, in this larger pocket, they call this the mommy pocket, so in this pocket, I have a Petunia Picklebottom wallet. And then there's two like mesh pockets. In this mesh pocket over here, I just keep a flashlight because, you know, if we go out or something and it's dark and I don't know, if it's creepy in a garage or something, I just like to have a flashlight. In the next pocket over, I have an EOS uh, hand lotion. And I think that might be it for there. Um, in the corner here, in just the main part, I have an EOS lip balm. I have my keys attached to the key fob. And then there's also a zippered pocket here. And in here, I have a pen, a notepad, and I have a couple stickers for, you know, to bribe Ian with. <laughs> okay, so that's everything in the mommy pocket. Okay, let me take these things down so I have more room. Okay, in the back pocket here. This is normally where someone would keep their change pad, but since I am no longer changing diapers, um, now I keep some, what are these, tissues, and I also keep some boogie wipes. Just because it's allergy season and our noses have just been like a faucet lately, so. Okay, now inside the main part of the bag. In the main part, I have a uh, 
Booty Pod uh, wipes case. I keep these mostly for, you know, cleaning up his hands and cleaning up his face. And then in my quick, I have, this is all his potty stuff. So we have an extra pair of undies, an extra pair of pants in case he has an accident, an extra pair of socks in case it's a big accident, runs down his leg into a shoe, and we have a wet bag to put all of the dirty stuff in. And then in this zippered pocket, I just have another hand sanitizer. Usually when I take him to the bathroom, I just take this if he were to have an accident. Um, Ian, knock on wood, or knock on this side so you can see it, has not had an accident um, since he's been potty trained. So oh, that's awesome. But you know, in case I ever need to take this to the bathroom, I like to have a separate hand sanitizer in there with me. Okay. And then the last thing in the main compartment is a sun hat. Then there's three open mesh pockets, and then there's also a zippered pocket here. In the first mesh pocket, this is kind of my pocket, I have a mirror slash brush. And here I just have a bunch of um, hair twisty ties and things like that. And then I also have a deodorant because sometimes I forget. <laughs> and I don't remember till we're already in the car, so. Um, in this mesh pocket, I don't have anything, but I usually keep toy cars and little toys in both these pockets. I just don't have any in there right now because Ian took them out. In this zippered pocket, this is kind of like my make boo-boos better pocket or whatnot. So in this little purse, I just have like boogie wipes and band-aids and a neosporin. I also have some uh, sunscreen. Oops. I have some sunscreen, which I need to get more of because clearly, clearly I use this. And that's all. And then in this long back zippered pocket here, it's where I keep our snacks. So this one's for me. It's a Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bar. And then I always keep two of these fruit and vegetable squeezies for Ian. And then as treats, I keep some little packets of fruit snacks. And that is everything that is inside my bag. Okay, so just as a recap, this is everything I keep in my Jujube Hobobi. Extra clothes, snacks, mommy stuff, sunglasses, sunscreen. So I don't think that's too bad, especially for the overpacker that I am. I think this is pretty good. So for those of you who are wondering, this is what I carry for my three-year-old potty trained toddler and myself. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey Ian, can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. <laughs> All my life I has been a series of doors, doors in my face. face. Then suddenly I bump into you. I know what you mean, because it's like, uh, I've been waiting my whole life to uh, find my own bathroom. Okay, go. Uh, and maybe it's uh, the party uh, talking. Uh, 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 but with uh, you, uh, <laughs> I see uh, your face. It's nothing like uh, I've ever known before. Uh, Love is open. Life could be so much more with you, with you, with you. Love is an open door. What's crazy? What? We finish each other's. I never met someone who thinks so much like me. Jinx! Jinx! My yeah. mental synchronization has got but one explanation. That you and I were just meant to be. Say goodbye. goodbye to the pain of the past. We don't have to feel it anymore. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. Life would be so much more with you, with you, with you. Love is an open door. Okay, can I just say something crazy? Uh, will you marry me? Uh, 
you know, 